In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get monkey money fast so that you guys can buy cosmetics, new heroes, and by the end of this video, you're going to be able to make thousands of monkey money per hour. Um, so yeah, let's hop right into it. <clears throat> Alright, so the best way to get monkey money in this game is definitely by doing events, okay? We're going to hop into some random quads right now. Gonna get a quick win, and we're already gonna make some monkey money. So, we got our opponent here, Leo. Use code Aiden's in the shop. I don't know. There's there's no code in the BT Battle 2 shop, but in, but in BTD6. At least not yet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. We, we, only can, we can only hope. Anyways, we're just gonna ready up on Basalt. Super short maps. We can get quick wins and get monkey money fast. We got Glue Gunner. We got Druid. Village, okay, this ain't a bad strategy, actually. This really ain't a bad strategy, so. We're gonna get a quick win here, and I'm pretty sure when you win your first game in an event, you already get, like, a chest, and the chest will literally give you, like, 100, 200 monkey money, which is quite a bit, and that's just for playing literally one game, and you get, if you get a win, another 50 monkey money on top of it, so you're already getting 300 after your first game, which is quite a bit of monkey money yep so we are gonna go ahead and start off with our druid monkey i think i'm gonna place it right here we're gonna get it up to the heart of vengeance okay looks like my opponent is gonna be doing the same thing i kind of like his druid spot i don't know why i placed mine here but it's fine we placed ours here <laughs> uh maybe this was a mistake Maybe this was a mistake, but it's working kind of wow. Okay. Um, that's a lot of leaks That's a lot of leaks. We're down to 40s. We're down to the 40. Wow. This is a way better druid spot Okay, if you're playing druid on this map place it right over there. Not where I placed it Yeah, anyways, we are gonna get heart of thunder here relatively soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get it right now perfect and Let's see if we could you know, maybe. Oh, he already got that Heart of Thunder. He's actually good. No, he's going to leak down to a perfect 70, 69 lives. That's even more perfect, to be honest. So, I don't think he can play, complain about that. Uh, we're also going to switch over to Blues here. And hopefully, our Druid Monkey can indeed defend for us. Let's this to last as well. I think it'll be better on last. And, yeah. We're going to be trying to, obviously, kill our opponent as quickly as possible. Did he not get Heart of Thunder? Oh, this poor guy. This poor guy did not even get Heart of Thunder, I just realized. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That is really unfortunate. Wow, okay. So, yeah, another thing about playing in, uh... Another thing about playing in these event game modes is your opponents are not very good. So, it's really easy to, um, you know, get get monkey money get wins so that is also another thing because he, he's literally dead to pigs uh we're gonna go ahead and balloon boost these we're gonna switch over to whites that'll definitely secure the win i don't know if even a boost can help him here i don't know if a boost can even help him here let's see though let's see maybe our opponent can defend whites i don't know we're gonna have to see leo i think that's how you say, say your name leo Oh, wow, okay, this glue gunner is being absolutely insane. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, he got that up already. Wait a minute. That's still death. That's still death. No? 20? 10? 13? 10, 13? 10, 13? No, they did not just gain lives. Nope, they didn't. That's not what happened. Alright. Um, this guy's gonna actually do very well. Um,. Not much I can even do about against that. We're gonna go ahead and get Druid of Wrath here, because it's a great upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead and set this guy here on strong. And then I guess we'll send some yellows. He finally got a Heart of Vengeance! Four lives! What the four lives? Okay, we're gonna Bloom Boost this. Another Tower Boost! I think that's still death. Come on, zero lives! Let's go! We got a dub already. Literally, round seven. That's how fast these games go. This guy was Hall of Masters, but... We still absolutely clapped him there. We're going to go ahead and get three stars, which is totally fine. Use this boost. Oh, wait. We don't get monkey money for wins. I forgot. But we do get them from the rewards, which the rewards are way better than the stuff you get from regular games. We already got a chest. Open this bad boy up. What do we get? What do we get? 235 monkey money. We got a bunch of other rewards. And that game was literally how long? How long was that game? Let me check. A four-minute game. A four-minute game. Like, that's just... 
brutal. It's so easy to get monkey money in this game mode. All right, got, already got another opponent. We got ZVCKX. Okay, cool. I feel like it's Zach. I feel like I feel like this guy's name's Zach, but he just wants to be fancy and and do his name like that. Zach's got really bad internet as well. Let's skip sands of time. We want the short maps. We want quick games because we want monkey money fast. All right, already up on a flexion, 100%. Uh, we got Heli, Toft Tower to use on this map. We caught Village as well. Looks like we're getting the Glue Gunner, so this game is going to end extremely quickly, which is good because these towers absolutely suck. Uh, yeah, that's the yeah. These towers suck. This will be a quick game, and that's kind of the cool thing about random quads and speed as well. You can definitely kill your opponents pretty early in speed too. Um, may maybe you play with fire. It just kind of depends what towers your opponent uses. But random quads, especially, it's definitely the easiest game mode to like get quick wins and stuff. Especially if you get like pretty bad tower combinations, bloom boosting whites, bloom boosting you know regen rainbows, zebras, purples, all that stuff can sometimes kill these um, lowered leveled opponents pretty pretty quick. Okay, so like I said, this is gonna be a very difficult game. Since when is the glue gunner three two hundred bucks? I actually had no idea. Um, okay, so we're gonna start off with Mr. Poop here. Zach's internet is just completely terrible. Uh, but yeah, we start setting blues here, I think, because I want to kill this guy like round three. Round three would be ideal. Let's see how good his heli targeting is. It seems to be decent. It seems to be relatively decent. We're gonna switch over to greens. I just kind of want to put as much pressure as I possibly can on my opponent here. We're also going to go ahead and get quad darts. Um, so yeah, wow, this leg is brutal. I can't even like, oh, this leg, man, this leg. I don't know where the best spot for helis is going to be, but we're chilling. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. We just got to make sure we don't die here. That would not be fun. Would not be fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. I feel like just like keeping it down here is a pretty good spot. Yeah, we'll just leave it here. Why not? Why not? Okay, he's got striker down. That's a very solid idea. Set to strong as well. Um, not really liking this heli spot anymore. I might be the one that dies super quick this game. It seems like this guy is doing better than me right now. Um, okay, we want like razor rotors, I think, pretty quickly here. So I also really need to move this guy up here a bit. Like right about here. This would be a lot better. A lot better targeting. Alright, I think we can do some group eco in here. I don't really know why I'm not. And also get this down so it's strong. Maybe get some glue splatter. Uh that'll help us out for sure. For freaking sure. Okay. Uh let's see. It's round five here. So, whites are definitely a possibility. I think I might try some whites here. Yeah, I'm not sure how good his thing he's going to do against these. We're going to go ahead and bloom boost these, actually. I think this is a smart play, going ahead and bloom boosting them. Looks like it's going to put a lot of pressure on Zach. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. You guys got to be aggressive in this game. You guys got to be the aggressor. Cannot let your opponents do this to you. Cannot let them do this to you. I'm doing it to him. He's about to go down. That's just GG. Maybe? Oh, the Razor Rotors. Did he afford the Razor Rotors? I think that's Razor Rotors. Round six. I'm gonna go into some blacks. Eight. Six. Oh my gosh, this guy's no lives. Another heli? Oh, he hangs on, I think. One life? No, there's no way. Yes, let's go. Another. Oh, round six. That was even faster. That was an even faster game. That one was like three minutes something. So, this is it. This is how you, you get monkey money fast. We got four more stars in there. Little multiplier action. And once we get to 10 stars, which we're literally already at seven stars, so we just need three more, we get another 250 monkey money. We've already got a bunch of XP as well, if you guys still do need XP and that sort of stuff. Um, but we're getting a lot of monkey money fast, which definitely monkey money is a lot more scarce in this game than it used to be. Um, so, yeah, we got open here on the map mines. So a bit of a longer map here, but definitely we can still try and kill our opponent early um, if we get some good towers. And even if we don't, we're still going to play aggressive wizard. Not necessarily what you like to see. 
Ice, also not necessarily what you like to see. And Alchemist as well. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, again, though, we're going to try and kill him as fast as possible. Just a little Bloom Boost here. We can get a Tower Boost out of him. And yes, we do. Under 100 lives now as well. There's going to be a uh, Bloom Boost from my opponent. It's going to be totally fine. Don't even worry about that. We already got Wall of Fire. So we get that maximum anti-stall up here. Um, so yeah, perfect. He's struggling here to these. Ooh, an Ice Tower is going to be coming down. We're going to get under 60 lives here, I think? Maybe? Under 70 at least. 70 on the dot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and get Intense Magic too. That'll surely help us out. And not much we could really do at the moment. We can try some whites round five, of course. Uh, those obviously were very, very, very good the last uh, couple games here. So we could definitely try whites again. But I don't know if they'll be as effective. This guy is playing pretty uh, defensive. We do have down him down to 70 lives, which is really good for us. Um, but obviously, 70 lives is, is still a bunch. 70 lives is still a bunch. So we'll go ahead and try some whites here. He's, uh, he's just spamming down wizards spamming down those wizards i don't think these whites are really gonna do much we'll see if they push quite a bit we'll try a sneaky bloom boost but they seem to be getting defended pretty well they definitely seem to be getting defended pretty well uh which isn't great it's not great for us not much we could really do though yeah these whites are getting cobbled up man all right we'll go back to greens start building up our eco a little bit more um, yeah, he's got a very good defense there. Next thing we can try as well is like purples because his ice tower Is that really gonna be able to pop all the purples? I don't know. I don't know you guys be the judge of that I don't know if his um, His ice towers are gonna be able to get all the purples. So yeah, we can also try yellows But I think he's really got these under control um, We got a relatively good eco here though um, Before round eight we'll probably be close to 700 which is gonna give us Lots of money coming in. Lots of money for rushing and stuff. And keep in mind, we are sort of anti-stalling the rounds. We obviously just let some balloons pass here. So not really anti-stalling the rounds. But we're going to go ahead and try some purples. It's it's good to try everything. I don't know how good these purples are going to be. It doesn't seem like they're really doing much. That's fair enough, though. That, that's fair. All right, let's get monkey sense. Got to start building up our necromancer here. Uh, Necromancer is going to be our main defense, uh, so we do need to yeah get that up. We can also get Shimmer here, and then we'll save up that 2800 for the Necromancer here real quick. Let's also place our Brambles a little farther back here. That'll also be good for us. Okay, let's switch to Blacks. We do need to afford the Necromancer before round 11, so cutting it a little close on time here. We can also Alk buff it. I don't think I've done that before. Alk buffed... Uh, Alk buff Necromancer. That's that's definitely new. He's sending me pinks. Let's get up that Necromancer here. I'm a little worried of a purple rush here. Purple rush on this, this map will have to be quite large. Um, a little purple rush isn't really going to do much. He's going to have to set like a decent sized rush if he wants to push past my Necromancer. It's round 12. We can send a lot of stuff here. We can send camos. We can send... Purples. We try a big purple rush here. We could see how this sort of does. Um, I don't know if it's really going to do that great. But we can obviously try it. A little bloom boost as well. And hey, this is what happens when you try rushes. You get quick, easy kills. Defeated by opponent's purples. That was a round 13 win. Could have been sooner if I rushed with those purples right away. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did find out how to get monkey money fast. And if we go back to the screen here, we got another five stars. We're going to get that 250 monkey money added to our account. And there we go. We already made 500 monkey money in literally like less than 15 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Anyways, like I said, that's it for today's video. It's Purple Aidens. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.